मैग्नेशियम इन फेस पाउडर so the practical is to estimate calcium and magnesium in face powder now face powder the main constituent is the tar what we apply on your face is a tar mineral and it is mainly magnesium silicate magnesium silicate are you getting my voice as an echo or is it clear pooja clear hai voice मैग्नेशियम इन फेस पाउडर राइट 
Next, Sampada, you tell me what is the main constituent in the face powder? Sampada, unmute. Okay, she is not here. My God, it is so bad to put it on the group, Sampada. Ma'am. Yeah, you are there. Tell me, what is the face powder? Magnesium silicate. Magnesium silicate. Very good. Now formula and silicate on the board. It will be there on your chart. Okay. Next, Aisha, tell me how will you start the estimation? Aisha, unmute. Mm -hmm. You are on mute, Aisha. Unmute. Aisha. Yes. What? How do we start? I think then, uh, yes, next. I think problem with Aisha. There is some problem with Aisha. Pooja, yes, tell me. How will you start, Pooja? Pooja, unmute her. Pooja, unmute. Pooja, Mane. Pooja is lost. I don't know what happened to Pooja. Next. Uh, Mitali, unmute. Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell me. How do we proceed? First, what will you do? Uh, uh, 500 gram of... Uh, 500 gram, madam. 500 gram. Madam, it is not 500. It is 0.50 500 grams. kilo hui. Okay, Michali. So only 0.500 gram of face powder on a watch chart. Transfer it in a beaker. Is it clear? You will add HCl and G. What will happen? All calcium and magnesium will be converted into the chloride form. Clear? Chloride form, Nantar, you will continue heating to dryness. Now tell me, you have one more very important point is over here is, you have to heat it to dryness. You should see, when you add HCl, you will get a liquid, yellow liquid, which I will show you. Then when you heat and make it dry, you should get a free-flowing white powder. If you don't heat to dryness, what will happen? What will happen if you don't heat to dryness? Agar ye heat to dryness. And you will get a white powder. Either the Milligan, that is your white powder. Now what happens, you have to make it dry, important, because if HCL remains, if HCL remains, traces of yellow remains, HCL remains in your beaker, it will interfere in your titration, in your EDTA titration. Why? Because EDTA titrations are pH dependent. Please, if you follow all instructions, you will get full mark. So you will weigh 0.5 grams of face powder or whatever weight teacher will tell you. You will add HCl Kong, HCl heat to on a stand bar. Calcium, magnesium will be converted into the chloride form. And then you will heat it, continue heating to dryness. Very important is you... There should be no HCl in your beaker. Otherwise, your end point will not be sharp. Then you will get a white powder. Is it clear? Then what you will do is, this white powder, you will cool. And then you will dilute 200 cm cube in a standard measuring flask. You will dilute to 100 cm cube. This is your first part, that is preparation of stock. So what you have got is in your 100 ml beaker, you have got a diluted stock solution of cal calcium powder. Okay, so this is diluted stock of calcium powder, ready for estimation. Is this much part clear? Now I will show you video. 
एवढा तुम्हाला व्हिडिओ आज इज सो यू व्हिडिओ व्हाट वी हॅव डेमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड ओके नाउ शेअरिंग एसके ओके एंड क्रोम this we me me and patel sir will be taking your practicals we have done it in your lab in our lab let's see pause 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 uh -huh. yeah yes is i think my video is visible let me see if i can make a full screen full screen ah yeah 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 yes my uh, screen is visible i think we can see our lab which we are missing very much pune is also standing there he see whether everything is going on well okay fine so shall i start pooja and all aisha pooja shall i start shruti yes yes yes, yes. yes. so this is the lab which we are missing a lot so what we i'll start first we have weighed a talcum powder in a wash glass so it will be transferring it in a beaker barabar hai then we will add concentrated hcl heat it on a fan but this what is there in this vessel is a fan what we do we heat the fan start heating the fan in the beginning so that what happens fan takes time to heat If you go away and bring talcum powder, then on the burn, on the sand will take at least fifteen to twenty minutes to heat. So what I advise, whenever you start the practical, I tell students first you start heating the sand, then you go and weigh. Is it clear? Pooja, tell me. Can I say that my attack prayer? I think you have come. Pooja, yes, ma'am. Unmute. Yes, tell me. What did I tell you? What will? How will we proceed now? Ma'am, we are going to learn the way sand la heating la. Thei unda ita thei sand fifteen to twenty minute heat zala paige. Yes, and then you will weigh transfer it in a beaker and it. Now, my dear students, man, advice. See, what I tell you, you try to answer in English because after this year, you all will be going out. You all should. Make an attempt right now. Even if you make mistake, we are there. We won't. We will not uh, uh, this. But you should be well versed. Okay. Medium of instruction in this college is English. So try to answer in English. Fine. So okay. I start. Yes, Pooja, you are good, and I know you can speak. Okay. So let's start. See, sir has taken this talcum powder. Transfer very carefully in a beaker. Tap it so that everything goes in a beaker. Now this is Kong HCl. We have added five cm cube. See, so it is showing hundred hydrochloric acid. You add hydrochloric acid to your talcum powder. What happens? All the calcium and magnesium. Yes, add add. So it is heat adding. Now heat it on a sand bath. Insert a glass rod. See, stir properly. Right. Now you heat. Yes, done, sir. Yes, burner is on. Keep it on the sand bath. What happens on heating? Calcium and magnesium will be converted into the chloride form. Sir is showing you the sand which he has taken. This is the sand. This is the sand bath. Fine. So what we do now? Calcium and magnesium will be converted into the chloride form. Is this much part clear with all? Yes, ma'am. So the heat convert sand bath. Yes, ma'am. Calcium and magnesium will be converted into its chloride form. See now, during practical exam, if the external viva of the examiner comes, you should be able to answer each and everything. Why we add HCl? Why do we heat it on a sand bath? When we heat, then only calcium and magnesium will form chloride, and then we want to remove all the HCl. So we should evaporate to dry it. Okay. So now, 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 I have a wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes. Where is the next? 
let me see i will uh, 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 uh. oh where is it why is it not working one minute one minute ha huh? Oh my god i stopped so ha huh? one minute one minute students please please there is ah uh. this is on uh this is the chrome and this is a whatsapp chat and now i want mm one is over now we can ah ah yeah wait 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 yes so we have added hcl and now we are hitting it on a stand bar see So I have heated it for five ten minutes. See, still yellow is there. Please don't stop. See, you can see yellow SCL is still remaining in the beaker when you heat. But don't continue heating; it will become charred. You remove and scrape the beaker. See, sir is trying to scrape everything. Still yellow is there. So slight heating is required. Just don't keep on a standby and chat with your friends. You have to be aware; otherwise, everything will become black, and you have to start from the beginning. See, so it is heating on a standby to remove all the acid HCl. There should be no traces of HCl; otherwise, your end point will not be correct. Uh huh. Come on, sir. Who we are still? Our time is going. One minute. Huh? What? Why is it coming? So, so we have stopped now. Wait, wait, wait. So we are heating, removing all SPL. Okay. So now we go to the next. Oh my God! How to go with money? That is done. So wait, 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 wait. My God. Chrome and then WhatsApp and then this na this. I'm directly sharing now. One, two, three, four, five. Two are done. Yes. Ha ha. Very good. Yes. Now see, it is absolutely becoming a white powder. Huh? See, now you cannot see any yellow in your beaker. So your HCl is fully removed. There is there uh, is some light yellow traces were there so we are again continuing heating this would have been fun to do this practical in the lab all the lab is filled with hcl fumes see 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 no traces of yellow perfect Now we can cool it. See, and it is free flowing powder. You can see it moving, right? Hmm. 
Yes, yes, dancer. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we will cool this on asbestos sheet. Keep the beaker on asbestos sheet for cooling. Sir, done. Continue. My God. Yes, now we will keep it for cooling on asbestos sheet. Because if we add water to the hot beaker, it will break. So you will cool it for some time. This is the asbestos sheet. Keep the beaker on asbestos sheet of the burner. And now you will start the next part. Next part is your titration. So sir, we'll fill the burette first. This is the burette, 50 ml burette. You will fill it with EDTA. If madam gives you 0 0.01 molar, you will fill it with 0 0.01. Or 0 0.02. See, sir, I spill the burette. And here I take a pause. One minute, one minute. See, when you fill the burette, this lower minute strict as the marking. See, you have to be very careful while filling the burette. The lower minute I will show on the board also, strict as the marking. And, and um, there should be no air gap in the nozzle. See, see, see. Wait. Uh, yeah. Ha, sir is showing there should be no air gap in the nozzle of the bure. First, you will remove the air gap from the nozzle. Adjust the meniscus and then proceed. See, you should know how to fill the bure because in exam, plus and minus 0.3 difference will only get full mark. If you don't fill the bure properly, error will be there. And again, you will lose mark. See if the export reading is 15.2. Let me be clear. 15.5 to 14.9 to 15.5 will only get mark, full mark. And then gradually mark will be deducted. Yes, who will tell me who else is there in your class? Sai is there in your class? Sai? Gaurav, Gaurav, I know. Gaurav, unmute. Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell me, Gaurav, what precaution you should take while filling the burette? Ma'am, Sai. Yeah, Sai, both Sai. What precaution you should take while filling the burette? Answering in English. Lower minister should touch the lower. Yes, lower minister should touch the zero marking. Second precaution, Sai, tell me. What is there on your screen? Sai, tell me the second precaution. I'm at the mid sang it la by lala. Second also you can. Second also you can. Air gap. Yes, very good. There should be no air gap in the nozzle. If you follow instruction, I assure your reading will be same as the export reading. Okay? So shall I proceed? So now sir is fill the burette. He is Fixing the burette on the clap. Bye. Stop. Now I stop the sharing. So what I will do is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went go to the Google Meet. Now I will show you my board. This is my board. Is my board visible? Yes, my board is visible to all. So, how far did we reach? Ruko, Ruko, Yes. Yes, right? So, what did we do till now? Face powder 0.5 gram, add it to your evaporate to dryness. Dryness is very, very important because if HCl is there, it will interfere in the analysis. Then, sir, got a white powder and sir has kept it for cooling. Meanwhile, you will fill the burette with 0 0.01 molar EDTA. 0 0.01 molar EDTA. What is EDTA? EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, which you will learn in theory. Okay? Uh, who will tell me? Kartiki, tell me. What is the full EDTA full form? 
ethylene diamine yes tetra acetic acid now one more thing acetic i will tell you acid. but what you will have to weigh right but this edta actually if you see edta is not completely soluble so what we do we take a di sodium salt of edta we take di sodium salt of edta please remember salts of sodium and potassium are soluble in your research if your compound is not getting soluble i converted into sodium and potassium form it will be soluble right so edta actually as it is is not soluble is not soluble so for practical purpose we use di sodium salt of edta so this solution will be provided to you by the in the lab you will fill the burette what i told was lower minister should tell the marking means this is your liquid minister everyone please listen and this is your low marking zero marking so this zero marking is it visible that zero marking this is zero ml and this minister should sit down your zero ml there should be no air gap now you are filling the burette with edta then you will pip it out pip it in a conical flask 10 cm cube of diluted stock so ne jo solution beaker mein diya na white powder you will cool and then you will transfer add water and transfer in standard flask and dilute with water 200 cm cube after that you will pip it out 10 cm cube in conical flask then you will add a buffer of ph 10 pH 10 का buffer you will add because calcium and magnesium react with EDTA at pH 10 and then you will add erythrome black tea as an indicator and the end point will be from wine red to blue light blue pick up blue color now and this type of titration is called as complexometric titration see if you have acid or a base in the bure type of titration will be acid based titration but here you are taking edta so it will be complexometric titration is it clear so now i will show you the video any doubt up till here Any doubt? I'm sorry, sir. Left leg I lele la the board mat se da. One minute, one minute. Which side you want? Which side? This, this. No, ma'am. Left, left. Left, 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 left. Yes. This is here. Uh, yeah, dilute ke lana powder. If you dilute to 100 cm, this is the diluted stock. right ma jo thoda sa ikde ke left acha ma it's all visible in the mobile i don't know abhi is it clear yes yes ma yes so this is so we will now dilute add water to the powder dilute and filter and transfer in 100 ml standard flask this is your stock you will prepare out 10 cm cube in a conical flask And then you will add pH buffer of pH 10, EBT indicator and EBT in the bure. So end point will be from wine red to blue. Is it clear? You will understand once you see the demo. Okay. So now, one minute. Um. Uh,
थ्री फिफ्टीन वाला राइट या द सेम थिंग करेक्ट है करेक्ट करेक्ट नहीं 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 तो ना दिस इज डन हा नॉइज मला पण येतोय कुठला तरी आता आणि एको पण होत आवाज पण ओ गॉड स्टार्टिंग पासून एको येतोय ओके आय विल लॉग आउट फ्रॉम माय अदर डिवाइस मॅम एका वेळी दोन केले हा हा एका वेळी दोन वेळा काय मला बघायचं होत राईट इज माय व्हॉइस क्लिअर नाव येस मॅम वॉज इट एकोइंग राईट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग मॅम तुम्ही शिकवायला घेतलं तेव्हापासून व्हायला लागलं देन यू शुड हॅव टोल्ड मी इन द बिगनिंग एनिवेज ओके so now see what happens is now you have to you will be given the whatman filter paper of circular shape divide in four equal parts barabar hai right then you will do it in 1 is to 3 ratio and keep it on this conical slab because we are going to filter through whatman filter paper yes sir done keep it on the funnel then and then you keep it on the standard flat bus bus yes right and then you will standard flat so let's take them 100 ml standard flat got it got it so 100 ml 100 ml okay and then then what we do is yes this powder now has become cool okay thanda is become cool yes done done yes cool 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 now you will add this still water to it oh my god ah uh, yes and then you will stir 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 you will fix that paper on the funnel by adding on the funnel by adding the little water this is what i did okay see now you can see the filter paper is fixed it was moving bouncing up so you add this little water the paper will get fixed on the funnel now you will transfer this solution through the funnel is my voice clear now yes 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 see now sir is transferring it through the funnel wait wait he will show you how to transfer in the second half you will transfer by using a glass rod Wait, 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 wait. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where is my camera? Yes. Now you will be able to see. While transferring, very, very important. Wait, for you will use a glass rod. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Uh huh. Yes. Very important. This is what I wanted to show you. One minute. One minute. One. yeah i wanted to show you when you transfer solution from beaker any time you should use a glass rod why you should use a glass rod means the what happens the last drop will flow along the glass rod on your funnel in your funnel otherwise if you don't use a glass rod i just transfer what happens the last drop will flow out along the beaker sides of the beaker always while transferring use a glass rod the solution will flow along the glass rod 
because even if you lose one drop, it is a concentrated drop. Because afterwards you are diluting to hundred, so you should be careful that even the last drop goes into the funnel. If you don't use a glass rod, it will flow along the sides of the beaker and will be lost. You may get a premature end point. Very important step. So your sir is transferring. Similarly, give washings to your beaker. Give washings to your beaker. <laughs> we'll come at four. Yes, give washings to your beaker. Finally, give washing to your glass rod. Everything you will wash and transfer it in your standard glass so that whatever calcium, magnesium gets transferred into your beaker. Yes, done. Uh, now let me see. Uh, this is done, I suppose. Yeah. Oh no. I always open the wrong thing. Oh no, this is also not the thing. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. No. Huh? One minute, huh? One minute, one minute. Okay. Yeah, so we were here. See, we are filtering all the washing into a 100 ml stand of flour. Uh -huh. Sunscreen, I this Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, 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 my god. One minute, uh huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, here, here. We were here, right? So I had transferred my every solution. Is it my screen visible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, because I had closed the other gadget, so I am not able to track it. So see, now the filtration is going on. After filtration, you will dilute it up to the mark with distilled water. Uh, actually, I want to mean. See, filtration is going on. Let all the solution get decanted in a 100 ml standard flask. See, sir is giving one more washing. Yes. Right now the wash care has to be taken that washing should be less than this neck of the standard flask. Okay, so you take small volume of solutions and wash. When you actually do the practical, you will realize this part. So let the solution be decanted, dry run it. 
I move yes. So it is decanted. Now what next we will have to do? We will dilute it up to the mark with distilled water. Yes. Yes. Now there is sorry showing the mark. You have to dilute it up to the mark. And while diluting also, the lower minister should touch the marking. You will be provided with a dropper. You have to access with a dropper. Now we have been working so long, so we are experts. We don't need what uh, this. And one more thing, one more thing here. See, final marking you will do with the dropper. We are experts, so directly we can add and adjust. But you will use a marker, lower miniature should as a marking. Next step, you have to shake the solution. Put the stopper and shake and see how sir is shaking. You have to only invert your standard flask. Shake by inversion. Don't shake it vigorously. See, I show this slide again. See. We are shaking the solution. What some students do, they invert and they shake it vigorously. Not required. That is not at all the correct way of shaking. This is the correct way of shaking the solution. Now, next what we will do is, we will sip it out 25 cm cube of solution. This is your stock diluted talcum powder stock solution. Now we will pip it out 10 cm cube from this standard flask in a conical flask. So here also sir is showing you the meniscus. This is the marking. Lower meniscus should touch the marking. And one more thing very important. When you pip it, you will use your first finger and fingers should be dry. Otherwise the level will not be adjusted. See. I also will be showing you your first finger, it should be dry. Pip it out 10 cm cube of this solution. You will be using your first finger. Let me see whether I am able to show you. And you will always see it at your eye level. This we couldn't take it properly. Actually. Okay. Ha ha. Here you should use your first finger always. And very important. See, you will allow the solution to flow. Please do not blow this large drop which is present in your pipette. I tell the students so many times, please do not blow the large drop. Your pipette is calibrated. But still students will blow the last drop. It is wrong. You can refer a vocal book for practical. It is clearly written. Do not blow the last drop of the pipette. Just let the liquid flow through the pipette. Okay, see. Have we blown? The liquid is flowing from the pipette. Yes, please don't blow the light. If a half bubble, a half, uh, I mean a drop is hanging half inside, half outside, you can touch by touching the side of the conical flask. Touch the pipette over here, that drop will flow down. But don't blow. Is it clear? Yes. So now we have to put a 10 cm cube. Now we will add a buffer of pH 10. 5 cm cube buffer of pH 10 you will add. Right? And then why we add buffer before? Because calcium and magnesium react with EZTA only at pH 10. So we add buffer solution. Now I add an indicator. Erichrome black P name is not visible on the uh, this con container. But we are adding erichrome black tea. You add one or at the most two drops. Do not add more. It will not give error, but it is advisable not to add more indicator, unnecessary why waste chemicals. 
Okay, now you will titrate. You will titrate. Your, and one more thing. Now when you titrate, listen, your conical start should be in your right hand, not in your left hand. And you will shake as you proceed by titration. See, yeah? wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, this is over one minute, one minute. Huh? Uh, now the last slide. Huh? Let me see. Is it, oh no, 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 why did it change? Ma'am, uh, uh, wine red color, Yaila. Uh, yes, 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 yes. What happened is my slide, I am not able to create that slide. No, no, no. This is the last. Yes. So, as you type, you see, you will have a wine red color. And as you titrate, one minute, one minute, I will show. Yes, so titrate fast. Titrate, where is uh, uh -huh. This will be first slide, okay, wine red. And then what happens? As you titrate this wine red color, will get converted to a blue color that is peacock blue color. Mm -hmm. Not this light. Peacock blue color I should get. Not this. Not this. Yes. See, as you titrate, the color of the solution becomes blue. Peacock blue. This is your end point, light blue color. Oh my god, yes. So in the lab when you titrate, you can see the change from wine red to blue. So I will stop this sharing. And where is my Google Meet? Yes. So have you understood the practical? Yeah. One minute, one minute. Attendance is like very, very important nowadays. Is your attendance? Uh, let me see. I hope oh, attendance is marked. Okay. Any doubt till here? No, okay. I will see recording. Who I can? One minute, one minute. I am taking attendance. So. Only 20 are there. 24 are seen. One minute. Huh? Few students need to be added. So, one minute, my dear students. Let me add. Add it. How many are there? No, no. What do you mean? Okay, okay. So now attendance is done. Now tell me students. Any doubt till now? Any doubt? Have you understood what is I just we will just revise. Oh my god, where is my camera gone? Camera lost. <laughs> Uh -huh. ah, it's got it's got let, let me see yes now we will revise again the full 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 practical kartiki board is visible full yes ma yes yes Dikrai, na? see we will again revise i think we have estimated calcium and magnesium in face powder actually face powder is a tar <laughs> Mineral containing magnesium of magnesium silicate. Formula is 3MgO4, SiO2 and water. 
Now this magnesium silicate tar, face powder will not only be tar. See, very important significant. Here there is water in your face powder. So if the manu if the manufacturer put only tar and they give it, what will happen on your face if you apply? There will be crack. It is hygroscopic. This magnesium silicate is hygroscopic. Means it will absorb moisture. Therefore, they will, the manufacturers will add calcium and magnesium carbonate to give it a free flowing look. Free flowing look, which I will explain it later on. So I repeat, because face powder is a task, it is magnesium silicate, it is, contains one molecule of water, so it is hygroscopic. So along with it, they will add calcium and magnesium carbonate to give it a good absorbency and so that it remains on your face powder and it is free flow. Take face powder away, take it in a beaker, add HCl and heat. Calcium and magnesium will be converted into its chloride form. Then you will heat it to dryness to remove or any unreacted HCl, otherwise it will interfere in your EVPA titration. Then are you massaging for kept it for cooling? Meanwhile, fill the buree. After cooling, add water and filter in 100 ml standard glass. Prepare out 10 cm cube in conical glass. Add buffer of pH 10. Indicator is erichrome black tea. We cannot use phenolphthalein in these titrations because phenolphthalein is used only in acid-base titration. These titrations are complexometric titrations. An indicator uses erichrome black tea. End point will be wine red to blue. Yes, tell me. Now, any difficulty? Any difficulty? No, ma'am. Everything is clear. So after we get to get into the lab, I hope you will be knowing what are the do's and don'ts. And if, 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 I don't know, if your exam happens online, then I don't know, I'm not sure. See, last year student exam happened, Viva 1 is to 1. You should know why should I add a theory. Why should I evaporate to dryness? Why should I add buffer of pH 10? What is the indicator used? What are the type of titration? What is present in your face powder? It is a talc. It is a mineral of magnesium silicate. Along with that, manufacturers will add calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate. They will add zinc oxide for UV reflection. See, so that your skin doesn't get spoiled by the UV rays, they add zinc oxide. If you see that after this uh, practical, you will see your face powder constituent. You will see calcium powder, magnesium powder, then you have zinc oxide, you have kaoli. Every constituent you try to find its application. Why they have added kaolin? Why they have added zinc oxide? UV reflection. Kaolin is for free flowing and smooth covering. So this is what is the face powder, estimation of calcium and magnesium in the face powder. Should I, and one line of calculation I need to show you before I complete this. One minute, one minute. Huh? I forgot to tell you. And calculation part, you should be able to do it on your own. What you will write is, I will rub this part. You will write 1000 cm cube of one, one molar, sorry, one molar PDPA corresponds to, you will write molecular whatever you will see the periodic table add and then you will add grams of calcium, add grams of magnesium. So whatever reading you will get. Accordingly, you will calculate. So, this equation is very, very important. If it is calcium, it is 40 grams of calcium. Okay. Now, when the lockdown opens, you should show me the calculation part. You all have been studying in FY as well as FY. 
Okay, any doubt now, please tell me. 